What happened? I didn't cock it. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't cock it. I pulled the trigger and it didn't freaking go. Oh, did I cock it? Yeah. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We're still on the wall. This is the evening hunt. If y'all didn't see the first hunt of the wall, y'all know what I'm talking about, that I've been here. You got to go back and watch it. Me and old Cole Joseph. We wrecked him. <laughs> Absolutely tore him up this morning. Yeah, you got to go watch that video. We Absolutely. probably already could have shot 20 if we had been sitting down for five minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It is nuts. We got these crazy looking things. We got, where's your piece at? Oh. Oh, this piece? Both pieces. We got the we got the 12 gauge suppress and a semi-auto 410. Semi-auto. That'd be nice. Oh, it's a TriStar? Yeah. Those aren't cheap still. They aren't? I don't believe so. I don't know. I found this one online for like $450, 500 bucks. Oh, that ain't yeah, bad. Yeah, not bad. Well, that's way better than I thought. Let's see if it'll uh, cycle these shells. That's yeah. what I'm worried about. Low powered shells. Really quick guys, I am giving away a two man hunt to come here to my lodge, Sand Hill Flyaways, for this upcoming season. All you have to do is subscribe to my podcast. If you haven't, you go check out all the episodes. If you have, new episodes are going to be hitting the ground running. Podcast will be linked at the top of the description down below. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, it's the old Mossberg, baby. The old pump action 410, yeah. And we have the shot cam on there as well. It has been quite a few seconds, minutes, um, years, I don't know, you tell me, operating the old shot cam. It's been a while. It was um, it was on the gun. It's been on the gun for a long time. I'm like, well, let's see if it's still charged. Hopefully it's still charged. But I'm gonna, uh, but we're both gonna start ripping on the 410s, both of us, and then uh, we only have so much good 410 ammo. This is what we're working with. Yeah, me too. I got some Estate Big 3 inch, 11 16 seven and a half. Those are nice. This ain't bad. I'm gonna try these first. I might steal some of yours, but. Well, yeah, we should just probably use three inch and not two and a half. I There's should? like half a box or something in there. Yeah, for sure. Big difference. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll give these three. Fence, look at this. Oh. They're just gonna roll down the fence to us today. With this wind, they're just gonna shh. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine with that. A lot more, oh, a oh, lot more south wind this evening compared to this morning. Uh, it's like, it's probably ripping, I don't know, 15, 18 mile an hour. So that's what the weather said anyways. Hopefully the weatherman is a little wrong because we're supposed to have damaging thunderstorms with huge hail tonight, so. We gotta be green berets right here. I'm gonna jump out here. Uh... Yep. Oh, shh. They're out there, dude. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well, we're the shot. Well, we're the shot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get over here. Over the top? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, oh, nice gosh, shot. that was awesome, they the dude. They me. just started speeding up. Just yeah, they got that, that was man. awesome. I hope I got that on the shot cam. I really awesome. do. Awesome. Sweet. He's, he's better than a door now. Boom, boys. All right, load this little gal back up. Okay. Yeah, but that wind like that, they catch it, boy. You almost need 12 gauges because of that wind above this wall. Above this wall, the wind is from the south, and it's it's 20 mile an hour, I bet, pretty easily. Yeah. Gusting at probably 25 or so. So they set up really good to get down here, but then I don't know, there's just this wind barrier. When they get it above it, boy, they're freaking gone. Get in there. Oh, 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 oh. 
screw that up. <laughs> you don't screw it up. Uh, don't tell yep. me. Don't tell me. Uh, yep. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 ah. I know, they didn't want to sit down. Should have shot that. The spinning thing in front of us, go, go to that. Pop him. Shoot him. Nice. Oh. Dang. I'm, we I'm, double I'm, tapped hey, that I'm one. talking the thing. Yeah, you I'm, are. I'm pumping it. You're pumping quick. Wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised that I was on it like a bonnet. Yeah. Well, one down, killing them. two, yeah, 12 gigas, we'd be absolutely yeah. <laughs> murking them. That's yeah. the truth and honest thing about it. Well, uh, we're, we're definitely going to end up shooting 12 gauges. I yeah. I have a bad feeling. I mean, if it's a, all right, let's make a deal. If it's a big group, we're going to reach for the 12s. Um, I don't know. I don't claim to be the best shooter in the world, but I will say this, uh, and this wind definitely as well adds to the fact of it yeah. being really tough. Um, four fun. tens, man, anything flying, it is not an easy feat to happen. They pattern well, right? They pattern very it's well, tight. but it's small, it's tight. Um, and the velocity that you're used to isn't there, the feet per second, you know? So these shells are, what were these? These were ounce and a sixteenth, eleven thirty-five. Ooh, eleven hundred and thirty-five. I guess these are only twelve, twelve seventy, twelve seventy-five. Yeah, not a big difference. That's not a big difference. Still sore, okay, though. I'll shut up. Anyways, it's still, I don't know, it's pretty tough. I hate a pump gun, and I know that sounds bougie of me and everything, but man, all y'all pump guys out there, I feel you. They don't fail as much. I get it. Me and Cole were having this conversation. Uh -huh. Beware of what lube, that sounds bad, what lube you use uh, to clean your gun, especially when the next morning it's going to be 10 degrees, zero, negative 10, because the stuff freezes up. So I hear you all water fowlers out there, all y'all old, older guys, you legends, sticking with your pumps because they don't freeze up. Mm -hmm. They don't jam. I get it. But man, it takes off your concentration on shot a freaking ton. A ton, yeah, a ton. Second and third shot, way harder. There's no comparison. Because you're moving so much. It's like, you can't, what, why don't people use bolt actions anymore <laughs> on a shotgun? Yeah, I mean, well, you know. All right, <laughs> moving on. Ooh, we double tappy that. McGee. If we did that every time, hey, on the left. On the left. Oh, yeah. If we did on that every back. stupid time. It's about right here. Oh. A little bit of papironi again. <laughs> oh, you no, you still got it. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> Sorry, mower guy. <laughs> <laughs> You smacked him. What happened? I didn't cock it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I didn't cock it. I pulled the trigger and it didn't freaking go. Oh, did I cock it? Yeah. That was hilarious. Son of a gun. That was funny. See? So I would, what, I was, what, I, what was I saying about pump guns, man? It takes so much away from your concentration. I mean... Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Come on. Smack him. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, you son of a... No, you, that was you. Nice. I went left. Nice. Man, that was tough. He got in there. He was close. Crikey. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just backing you up. Nice back up. <laughs> you gotta have it with these. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. You have to. Take it. Oh yeah. Come on. <laughs> what? What? No. The old passerby. -er. No <laughs> he said, "Hell no." You and your games. I've seen him, boy. Yeah, he saw him earlier. He got a hole in his wing. 
Oh, did he? You have a hole in his wing? It looks like it. He might be seasoned. He might be a seasoned vet going, you know what, I fell for your tricks. I'm not doing it again. He might. He, he might, might be coming back, he though. He might want to die here. Give him. Oh, two. Oh, you got oh, him. him. Coming back. Oh, that gum. We tore him up, though. That was good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, yo. These patterns are significantly tighter than the 12 gauge. Oh, yeah, by far. You're shooting a laser beam. It's a laser beam, yes. This is on the oh. Yeah, like he said, these are a laser beam. Like, you're just shooting a laser beam com compared to the 12 gauge. It's just so tight fast i mean almost th the same feet per second so that's a cool looking pigeon. look at him he's got some white all around his head cool looking dude some white on his wings all right 410 action going down upon us right now oh this oh poop son of a gun I might have ruined that deal. No. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Take a, take a Got caught with her. Oh, no. Okay. Come on. No. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Oh. Good grief. Double team or two. I thought they would keep going. God, like I missed that. my first shot bad. He, yeah, he just, again, went left of him. There you go. It's like they fly like this. Yeah. Really got to stay focused on these things. They, yeah, they keep. I'm left of them a bunch. Oh, you <laughs> Five shells. <laughs> I'm unloading on them, baby. <laughs> oh, is that a full shell underneath you right there? Oh, oh my. God dang. Did we get either? No. Dang you. I'm ready to go back 12 gauges. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm about almost through. <laughs> oh, right here, right here. Up top. Son of a... Okay. Right here, right here, right here. Wait for this one. Oh, shoot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot more modern. Yeah. <laughs> that thing, it's like, I mean, it's definitely not near as modern. Three on the Three left. Back. Come on now. That's what we were saying earlier. <laughs> oh, that was it. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're on your side. Get you that one. Oh, oh we fuck. nailed his butt. What, what happened to him, man? He should have went down. <laughs> He's still over he said there. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, you dirt napped him with that thing. All right, all right, folks. Yep, you see the thumbnail. 410 and suppressor. I think it's right about that time. Um, the wind's really picking up. It's getting really difficult to hit these birds with the 410. So. If y'all are here for the suppressor, here we go. I love it. Finally getting used to it. The aim is on. Cole and I shot 160 this morning. 160 freaking birds with two guys. Let's go. Very, very good point. What? I didn't shoot it. Hmm? I didn't shoot it. What? Right there. Yeah, but I can just tell. I think... When we shoot it together here in a minute, we'll be able to tell if his 410 is louder or if my 
suppressed 12 gauge. Should be louder, you would think, yeah. but I don't think it is. I think the 410 is louder. It's got more more volume behind got it. Got more pop. More boom. pop, yeah. Like, boom. Like, boom. You go first and back you up. Get him. You sure? Get him. Hurry. Nice shot! With the 4 10 again! This, we're just, this is going to be the coal show here. No. Dad gum! Getting the next singer. Yeah. Yeah. Dad gum! Call it when you're ready. You do it. You get the 4 10. You just go. Go. Nice shooting. Oh my gosh. Great. With dog. the 4 10. God, you're rocking, rocking socks over there. Rocking socks. Yep. Nope. Yep. Maybe. Oh, oh, I could have popped them right there. Wind probably would have blew them. Blew them over. Maybe. Daggum. Oh, out front. Pass her over. Um, Bet you can't. He's dead the before shot. the wall. Nice right before shot. the Almost a home run. Good grief. Ooh, that was awesome. We are getting them. Double teamage. Give him the poof. Nice. Boom. Nicely done. Sorry about the language there, boys. <laughs> uh, I get a little excited for those close shots. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I agree. That was fun. He just came cruising head first. <laughs> All the way into the wind the whole way. Look, this is other people's trash. Not ours. We'll pick it up when we're done. Check him out. That is Younger Bird. This is the spread. Looking good. Hey, a bunch of pigeons just got up. Bunch of pigeons got up. He can't hear me. He's talking to his camera. Yo! God. Oh, did they just bomb in there? Ready? All right, we got two in the decoys. Yep, here. get them. Oh, I'm out. I'm out, Ski. Son of a gun. I missed my first shot, too. He Did was, you? Yeah, he was fluttering I around over the decoys. They, I pulled the trigger right when Oh, he went down. No, he's dead. He just fit. Oh, I see him. Yep. He's hurting. We're trying. It is windy. Oh, oh short yeah. stoppage. See if that 12 gauge will hit him. Right? Yeah, true. That's that's oh. a distance. I put that at about <laughs> 70 yards. It's pretty far. All right. Yeah. Well, if it does kill one, we'll step it out. Yeah. It was all on him. Dang. You see that? Yeah. I mean, it was all over him. You want me to get? Oh, I was backing you up. <laughs> shot you, right over him at you first. got him. You got him. That was all you. Let's see how close you can get to him. Probably not very close, huh? Right when you stand up, he's probably gonna. Be. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice poofer. Had to get him. To get him. Ooh, ooh, he fall down and can't get up. Dang, there's a bunch down there. Yeah, yeah let's smoke. Something here. Get him. Dirt. Dirt and that kerplump city right there. Just thunk. When you hear plate. a thud. The old dirt nap train. Now, if you don't hear a thud, you could hear that. I may thud. be off my game a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> here we go from the left. Oh, yeah. We're about to. Yeah. Triples. I'm going left. Oh, that one was high for the 410. You had the. You got the one? Yeah. Oh, good shot. Oh, you might have got one in him. Ooh. He's acting goofy. Yeah, a little bit. Here's a pair Two. Here. Dude, that train, look what the train's oh, doing over my there. Gosh. Oh, we're going to get this. Oh, should we wait on all these things? I don't know. Oh, my. Please do it. Yeah. Well, Shoot him. Might as well. Oh, oh I was oh, gonna I go. Coming back. Did you? Yes. Oh yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> Teamwork yes. makes the dream work. I didn't want him getting out of here. <laughs> out of 
<laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, Nick uh, them just enough to curve them. Yeah, by. you did. Bet you can. Uh, Bob, that would be an eighth of a mile away. That, yeah. We've been playing a game. I like it. Probably not the best game for waterfowl. Maybe if it's a slow day. Yeah. If it's a slow day, it's not a bad game. But uh, if, if you got just, you know, she's up there. there cr birds cruising over at 60, 70, 80. We got one coming ooh, down the line. Ooh, ooh. Um, and you look at your buddy and go, bet you can't. I bet you can't freaking do it. And they pull up there. <laughs> and <laughs> it gives you constant confidence. It shows you what a 12 gauge can do. Absolutely. There's no way the 410 could do it. No. Maybe there's a way, but I'm not sure if I could do it with 410. I don't know if I'm that talented. I'll back you up. Get him. Oh, you better shoot him there. Oh, I clicked. Oh, nice. Did it? <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's the way you're supposed to use 410. We're calling our quits early. Yeah, we got a storm coming in. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's a beauty, man. Oh, yeah. That's man, a big that girl. A fun one. We do not want to mess with a big girl. No. <clears throat> but, awesome little afternoon slash evening shoot. I don't want to get held on and about to get wild. But, <clears throat> yeah. 410 suppressors. Not bad. We had, a a, we had a guest show up that... Uh, I don't know if I was recording during that. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. A little, uh, little uh, intoxicated. Oof. Wow. Bad deal. I'm sure I'll be talking more about that after this video. If I did record it, I'm not sure. I had a GoPro on my head. I'm not sure if it was recording or not. But Texas has been amazing. This is me and Cole's last hunt. I'm gonna miss you, brother. I know. You better come back. Well, yeah. That was, that was fun. freaking awesome. That was really fun. It was so Glad awesome. it worked out. Oh, today was Crush City. For two yeah. days, over 200 pitch. I mean, pretty much, I mean, pretty much if you want to give us just a little bit of leeway, almost 200 today. Yeah, true, true. You know, that if you want to just, if, if, if you were all were a nice guys and gals, you'd say, okay, yeah, definitely. 200 <laughs> today. <laughs> today. 100, yeah. I, I mean, we weren't far off. No. And How close we, were, so we, 160 plus 20, so yeah, so you're only 15 yeah. off or something. Yeah, and we could have done that easily. Damn it. But if we, we just stayed out here. Got to get a little, got to fill the belly. Out here, if we would have stayed out here and not went and ate lunch and you take a minor nap and me, <laughs> you know, do my deeds. Yeah. We would have shot over 200 today for sure. Mm. By, by far. Probably. Yeah. Probably, probably 300 or something. Yeah, closer to three. <laughs> Woo! It is hot and humid out. Oh my goodness. I cannot describe to you how ready I am for the waterfowl season to be here. Not only because I want the whole lodge full of happy clients making memories with me, but I'm ready for the cold. I'm ready to have a hoodie on. I'm ready to have my bibs on. I'm ready to have my leather boots and gloves, man. I'm just not a summer guy anymore, I guess. Awesome hunt. Uh, that's going to be the last addition to the Texas pigeon hunting. I held on to this one for a little bit uh, because I just wanted to kind of rotate them through and not just upload them all in two weeks or something. You know, the summers are long here on the channel and, and the channel is a waterfowl hunting channel. That's what it is. So when it's not waterfowl hunting season, we tend to struggle a little bit on the views, but that's okay. We know it'll be back. If you haven't checked out Cole's YouTube channel, do so. Cole Townsend, type it in, you can find it. Go subscribe to him. He's a guy just like myself. He runs uh, hunts up in Canada and down in Texas. So if you're interested, get a hold of him as well. Cole is a very good guy, very good buddy of mine. And I just wanna tell him thank you for hosting me down there. I had an amazing time. But like I was saying, I am giving away a two-man hunt over on my podcast. All you gotta do is join the podcast. 
Um, there are a ton of episodes on there if you haven't seen them. A lot of special guests over there. A ton of laughs. I can use whatever language I want. I can be whoever I want. I can say whatever I want. I can talk about whatever I want. It is entertaining. We got a lot of giveaways other than the hunt as well. Gonna be giving away some turtle boxes. Gonna be giving away some high and dry utility poles. New episodes will be hitting the ground running within just a couple days, I promise. Changing the podcast a little bit, doing some new stuff. But thank you all for being here. I hope that you are surviving the heat in the summer. Uh, even though it might be a little tough, just like myself, we're almost there. September's almost here. Dove, teal, come on. As well, I have some great November dates, January, February dates as well here in the lodge if you're interested in going on a guided waterfowl trip. It's three days of hunting, full lodging, food, meals provided, drinks provided, except for alcohol. Um, and we clean and process all of your birds so they're legal to go across state lines with you back home. If you're interested, hit up sandhillflyways.com. It is also linked down below. Fill out the inquiry to book form. I'll be getting a hold of you, but please, 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 serious inquiries only. Thank you all. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.